Today, I want to start by telling you a story. Hi everyone, it's Nergis Nirmvala. I'm the founder and CEO of executivespeak.com. And every Monday I put up a tip video. So it's Monday, happy Monday everyone. So today I want to tell you a story. We're going to go back to before I was an entrepreneur, before I started my company, had my baby, had a book, had a brand, had anything. And I was employed by a company like many of you in the corporate world. And I remember my last boss, she had this red pen she would keep in a drawer. And any communication I sent out, any written communication, it could be an email, a letter, a memo, I had to bring it to her. She had to check every single thing I did. She was very micro, very nitpicky and detailed. Ah, used to drive me crazy. And she would open the drawer, I'd hear the sound of the drawer opening and the pen would come out. And she would just put red circles around everything I wrote, everything was wrong. I remember feeling like I must be the worst writer on the planet. I must be the worst communicator. I'm terrible at communicating. Every day, she slowly crushed my confidence in the area of writing and communication. So fast forward to the time when my parents and my husband are encouraging me to write articles and publish a book. And I'm like, no, I can't. I don't write well. You know that. Remember my boss? She used to criticize everything I did. I don't write well. But in the end, I did listen to them. And today's message is... Don't allow other people's negative opinions to become your reality. Oh my goodness. I'm going to say that again because it's that important. Don't allow other people's negative opinions to become your reality. I know it's hard because we live in a world where people do criticize and nitpick and crush your confidence. Sometimes it's constructive feedback. Absolutely take that, take that in. But if it's not constructive, if it's just negative and hurtful and consistently crushing you, think about where that's coming from. Think about why that person is doing that. Maybe you need to have an honest, thoughtful, kind conversation with them and tell them how they're making you feel. But at the end of the day, you can't change them. Okay, you know that, I've said that before. You can only change how you respond, how you react. I allowed her to crush me. I took it in and I made it my own opinion of myself. That was wrong. Don't make that mistake. Okay, listen to the positive, believe in yourself. And if you need to grow in a particular area, take action, take charge of that, and you will feel better every time you do that. So action item for this week, is there someone who is giving you consistent negative opinions that you are taking in and making your reality? How can you stop that from happening? How can you stop making the negative opinions of you your reality? and amplify your inner positive voice, okay? I hope that you enjoyed my tip this week. Thank you for watching every week and commenting. Please like, comment, share if you love this video. I love to hear from you. And until next week, I hope it's productive and safe. Bye.